who is Kai Sinet? Kai Kyla Sinet is an American online streamer and a YouTuber. <music> guy is known for his comedy content online. He has 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and he has 1 million subscribers on Twitch, which means he has huge amounts of followership, right? This guy has nothing less than 9 million followers on Twitch. Now in 2023, he was awarded streamer of the year. So you can tell that this guy is doing very well online. Now let's talk about the money aspect of Kai Sinet. Kai Sinet, as of 2019, had just 9,000 USD dollars. Now, in 2020, he moved from 9,000 to 50,000 USD dollars. He didn't stop there. He's like, no, I've not had enough money. I need to make my money for myself and my family members and the girls. And then he went straight up. Impressively, this guy is now worth 14 million dollars. Are you playing? Are you playing? Oh my goodness. So now you know a bit about who Kai Sinet is. Let's do a quick check on his background. Now Kai Sinet was born 16 December 2001 in the city of New York. He has three siblings. He has an elder brother, he has a younger brother and a twin sis named Kaya. Yeah, Kaya is beautiful. Kai Sinet, I mean Kai Sinet family members are so so beautiful. I mean look at his mom. His mom is so beautiful. Talking about his mom, he calls his mom is hero he said his mom is the one that has made him get to where he is today kudos to mothers out there if you haven't sent love to your mom already which you're supposed to have done since on sunday please do that right now put a call through to your mom send gift to her do something beautiful for your mom it's very very important because they are amazing they are superb i love them okay now now that we know um his networks we know his background a little bit Let's now go to him coming to our great country, Nigeria, in Africa. Kai Sinet came to Nigeria. Oh my God. And I realized, I've been seeing a lot of views, videos everywhere. And I could see that this guy has a lot of energy. That, duh, this guy has a lot of energy. My God. I don't know how he does it. I don't know if it's a stage or anything, but he has a lot of energy and he has a very positive vibe. He's a happy person. I could tell that, you know, he, he, he's a cheerful guy. He's a joyful person. You can't take it away from him. Now, Shank, on the other hand, who has been his tour guide, ever since he came into Lagos, is doing amazingly well. He's doing fantastic fantastic job that guy is really really good first of all i do not really know much about shank i never know that is such a vibe but seeing him with kaya that guy did a very very fantastic job now let's now go to the part where kai met with davido davido is a nigerian artist a popular one at that a well-to-do an amazing one a father with great kids and husband to choma we all know that davido said some things to Kai that I need to talk about, right? David also said that I don't know if I should say this, but Kai, you have a strong spirit. I said it before that this guy has a positive vibe. I've never met him before. I would like to actually interview him someday. But I must say that I was right. Because David was like, you have a strong spirit. I'm supposed to sleep, but I cannot just sleep. I just have to stay awake for you. Like I can't sleep. You have a strong spirit. The guy has a strong spirit, people. He has a strong spirit. If the video can say that Kai has a strong spirit, then he has a strong spirit. He has a good vibe. David also said that you were an inspiration to me when I was young and I grew up watching your videos. Now, David is 32 years and this guy is 22 years. You guys can imagine. This guy called Kai Sennett has been doing a lot for himself for a very very long time very very long time and it's an inspiration to a lot of people not just davido a lot of people okay and let me let you guys know that kai coming to nigeria i feel like even though he says it's for vacation i feel like it's his business his business is is an online streamer guy is his job is online he does content creation online coming to nigeria is doing a lot of content they are for business don't sleep nobody's playing guys so i like the fact that this guy is a very focused minded person he knows what he's doing he knows his onions quite well he's very good at what he's doing i mean his first video on youtube was doing very very well so you could tell this is after which he was already doing very well on instagram before he now came on youtube he is 
someone that knows what he's doing is focus minded now the major reason i shot this video is because i wanted to talk about the fact that kaya found love in nigeria it was in an interview with a guy and he was saying that um he would like to find love in nigeria or ghana and apparently it turns out that he has found his love already though he's going to ghana very soon but he has found his love already in our great country nigeria that is to tell you that we have we have we have beautiful amazing people in our country we have amazing girls both men and women we are all beautiful people in our country nigeria we are amazing nigerians we're so amazing immediately he saw her he's like what she's so beautiful that is how love happens i could call that love at four sides right yeah so I am so happy for Chisum. I am so happy for Kaya because I mean I don't know if Chisum likes him though. I don't know. Maybe Chisum has a boyfriend already because a lot of people are saying some things on Twitter saying that uh another person's girlfriend has gone like that. You know, you know that it happened with Omalina and that girl dancing on stage and the boyfriend was watching them, you know. So I feel like um um there's this perspective about we ladies we but but I don't know if Chisum has a boyfriend. I don't know if Chisum is interested in Kaya. I don't know if Chisum feels like he has she has hit a jackpot already. But the girl is beautiful. She's someone that you could tell that she builds her body. She's working on her body quite well. She's so beautiful. Yes, she's okay. She's an evil girl. Yes. So I don't know if they are going to, you know, you know what I mean. But most importantly, Kaya has found love. Kaya has found a queen in Nigeria. And I'm so happy for him. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen afterwards. Probably there's going to be a wedding. Yes, I'm that fast. <laughs> I'm that fast. But some people are saying that she's not fine. This person said, look at Chisum that Kai said choose. But some Nigerians are calling her ugly because she is not from a certain tribe. I don't know if it's about the tribe thing or it's just envy you know how it can be now some girls might be like what's his finding this one's body you know people can can be very funny at times i mean to me she's okay she's actually very very okay and if kaya says that she's a fine babe then she's also obviously a fine babe she's a fine babe let's not take it away from her you know what are your thoughts basically about kaya coin i mean the lady that he found what are your thoughts about her basically let me know at the comment section and Hopefully, Kaya will not just now go to Ghana and find another person and be like, I find a Ghanaian love. Hopefully, hopefully, because we 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 want the best for our Nigerian babes, okay? And I feel like, and I know that Kaya would treat a lady nicely. He seems to be a very good guy. He seems to be a very good guy. I mean, when they asked him if you if you would prefer a BLL Nyash to a natural Nyash, he said he would prefer a natural Nyash. Sure, I could tell this guy has positive vibe. He's a good person. He's an amazing guy, and I wish him well in all his future endeavors. That is all I have for you guys for now. Many more are to come. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, turn on post notification, and please do drop a comment. It is very important, alright? Love you guys. See ya. Bye.